Take 50. Uh, hey, what's up? I just wanted to read an article I wrote a couple years ago called The Dumbest Question in History. Ever since I was old enough to understand this question and what the answer meant, I've always had the view that it felt too simple to be true. How could so many people rely on this question to judge a person? The question is, is the glass half empty or is it half full? Supposedly, in the half-assed world of psychology, if your answer is half empty, it means that you're a pessimist. Basically meaning... Hey buddy, how's it going? Heard you got that promotion! Yeah, barely. Well anyway, hey listen buddy. Your wife just called. Uh, she said she's got to pick up some paper towels on the way home from work, so she might be about 15 minutes late. Alright. <laughs> I hate my life! Fuck! Or if you see the glass half full, it means supposedly that you're an optimist, which is basically... Hey, yo, excuse me! Yeah, fuck face! Hey, Frank, how's it going? Your wife just called. She's in the hospital. She got raped on the way to her car this morning. I knew I wasn't the only one who thought she was beautiful. <laughs> Thanks for the update, Frank. Sounds reasonable, right? Well, to me, this question always made me feel like I was being brainwashed into thinking inside the box without examining the most simple rule of all, cause and effect. So my answer was always, it depends. Did they stop filling the glass halfway up, or was it full and they drank it halfway down? See, the true answer to nearly every problem in life is never as black and white as a yes or no, wrong or right, full or empty question. It's always the gray area right down the middle, the third answer to a two answer question. I think that if you come up with a question that requires one of only two answers, your question is dog shit, and so is your mind. I mean, apply this to driving. Would you jerk the wheel back and forth all the way down the road? How stupid is that? Anyway, I realize now that this is why I was put through academic testing all through elementary school. They couldn't figure out whether or not I was completely insane or a certified genius. If you asked me, I'd say a little bit of both. I'm uh, not gonna do another take. Fuck you.